Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creative B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you find this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below to like the video and the subscribe button. Today's video is a tutorial about getting the correct sizes to create covers for low content paperback books such as notebooks, planners and logbooks, etc. Colouring books and things like that. This is one of the ways I make passive online income. So I'll be going through different tutorials throughout the weeks. Today I'm going to show you three different methods. The first one is using Canva. The second one is using Keynotes for, Macs, for Mac. And the third one is using PowerPoint. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to do, once you've designed your book, and you've probably decided to do it either 6x9 or 8.5x11, which is the common sizes. But today I'm going to give you the example using 6x9. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go and have a look for KDP cover templates and you would just simply type that in Google and it would come up with KDP cover templates and then you get your sizes here. So what you need to do is if you click on you will see all the trim sizes that KDP offers and the most common are 6x9, 8x10 eight and a half by 11, but you can do any of these. But today we'll do eight by nine. And you should have created your book so you know how many pages you have. And in this case, it's 120 pages. And you need to choose your paper color at this, this stage, because if you choose white, it's not as thick as if you choose cream. So if you're doing certain log books, certain planners that would suit people using cream, then you need to make sure you select that. So I've chosen white and then I've downloaded this cover already. So this is what you get. Inside the zip folder you get a PDF and you get the PNG. Now the reason why we want this is because it actually gives us the sizes that we are going to use. So let's go and have a look at Canva. So when you go into Canva you click create a design and you want to give it custom dimensions. Now I've already typed that in, but I'm going to show you how I work that out. So you need to select, you have a choice of uh, pixels, inches, millimeters, or centimeters. So what you need to do is click on inches and then go back to your cover and you will see that it says six by nine but it also gives you the spine width. So what you do, if we get a calculator up, we need to six plus six. Now the reason why we're doubling the width is because it's a, sp a spread, okay? Because you can see this is six inches here and that is six inches there. And then it's 20.27 inches there for the spine. So we've got, let me do that again six plus six and it's done the 12 then we add 0.27 and now we need to add 0.125 for the bleed now a cover does have bleed if you've decided not to do bleed on your interior your cover still needs a bleed because it's where they chop everything so now we need to add on 0.125 and then do it again for the other side. And that gives us 12.52, which we can type in here, 12.52. And now we need to do the height. Now this time, with regard to the height, we're not interested in the spine at all. And you only need to do one. So it's nine, but you need to also add in the bleed for the top and the bottom. So again, that is standard. So it's 0 0.125 plus 0.125 gives us 9.25. And that's where we create the right size. But we haven't got any of the guides or anything like that. So one of the best ways of doing that 
is actually to upload that image that we had, this one here. There's only one problem though, it's too big, it's over 25 megabytes which Canva doesn't allow you. So let me just show you that. So we go on there, click open and it says OK, got it, too big. So if you are on a PC, best way of doing that is to go to PNG, to JPEG, just do a search, upload that file and it will immediately convert it. So click there and it converts it. OK. Now, if you are on a Mac, you can do it slightly different. You can open it with Preview. You can, I'm going to bring that down. Then what you need to do is you need to make a duplicate. And then you click the close button on the duplicate. And now you change it from PNG to a JPEG. So let me just do JPEG. And that's done that. Okay. So I can close that down. And that has also done it there for me. So I could have easily downloaded that as well. So either way, then go here, upload your image, and this time you want the copy JPEG. Open immediately. It should upload. it and then just resize it okay so that's the first one and then from here you can start putting in your text headings whatever you want sort of images you want to put in what photos all the different things that you would like to do with your notebook or blog book or whatever you are designing Okay, so that is the first method using Canva to create your cover. You also, when you download, you need to actually convert it to a PDF print. Don't do the standard, do the print because you're doing KDP. Okay, so that's what you need to do in order to upload it. Now, the next method that we're going to cover is Keynotes for Mac. Now the problem with keynotes is well, that's not anyway. The problem with keynotes is everything is in points. So if I go to document here and we change the size, custom size, it is all in points. Now we already know what our inches size are because we've worked it out. So to convert from inches to points, you need to times it by 72. So here we've got 9.25 and we would times that by 72. Hang on. gives us 666 for our height and we know already that our inches is 12.52 and we times that by 72 and we'll round that down to 901 and that gives us the correct size. I'm just going to zoom out so you can actually see it. And what you can do is, again, you can insert your media. This time you can just use the correct one and that already comes on. And from there you can start designing. Or what I like to do is I usually create a new blank one and I can be looking and using different things to see if I'm aligned with it. Again, once you've finished, you export it, and this time you again export it as a PDF. So that is another way 
of getting the correct size for keynotes. And the last one of getting the correct size is in PowerPoint. So we go to PowerPoint. I always change my layout when I do PowerPoint to blank. And I know basically, now this is if I didn't know what the size or anything like that was and hadn't done any of the measurements. I would go to design and I'd basically do the same sort of thing. I'd go like that and I'd think, right, I know it needs to be at least 12 and I know it needs to be 9. And I'd scale up. I'd also then insert my picture from file. Again, it will be... Which is that one? Click insert. And as you can see, it's not quite the right size. Now, if I go to format page, I can see here that it actually tells me the size that I need. It says here 12.5. It's about the same. So, again, go back to design, slide size, page setup, change that to 12.52. Click OK, scale. Now this time I want my picture to be the same size. Reset. Just change that to. And that is my picture now lined up nicely with my slides. Here I also use guides and I would put my guides again where I want them because I then usually do a new slide, a new blank slide, switch them around, and I'm usually working from using the guides that are on here. And again, right, export it as a PDF, as you can see there. That is how you get the correct sizes to create your covers in order for you to put them on KDP. I hope this has been helpful and just a quick simple tip. I am Kerry from Dream Creative B where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online.